Today we are in Mackenzie district and we are releasing a moth, a little insect that feeds on a plant that is called whorehound. This moth feeds on the tip of the plants and on the leaves of the plants and what we're hoping it will do in the future is reduce the seed bank. We don't like whorehound because it's, it's a stinky weed <laughs> which gets stuck in the fleece of the wool and it's, it's encroaching on our, our good agricultural grasses like um, lucerne. It's become such a problem that other means of control, chemical control, mechanical control, are not dealing with it. As soon as the ground's capable of growing again, it, it will be the first thing to, to beat anything else back up again. The little burrs that carry the seeds of this plant get stuck into the wool of the sheep and that degrades the quality of the wool and um, it's no longer very valuable. Long term, it's, it's on this exponential growth curve um, and, and, and increasing on our agricultural area because its seed is transferred in the wool of the sheep from one place to another. So we can't, we can't keep, we can't keep the, the areas free of whorehound. A group of farmers started here in Mackenzie, have joined together to uh, do a biological control program against this weed and to introduce two species of moths that feed on this plant. I went to Europe in um, 2015, the home of whorehound apparently, and I couldn't find any. <laughs> and, um, and then after a little bit of research, I found that they didn't have any whorehound in, a, in Europe because like all the insects and everything was eating it. I was like, well, we need some of those in New Zealand. And you, I got looking and, and, in, and into it a little bit further and did some Googling and um, I found that the Australians had introduced them oh, 20 years previously into Australia as a biological control for, for whorehound. So the, the, the Australians really have the jump on us um, on this project, but that, that's all right. It made it easy for us to um, bring them into New Zealand. They're almost uh, ready to pupate and we are putting them on new plants. We have taken them as larvae uh, from their environment in, the, in our containment facility, taken these larvae out and we're going to put these larvae out on new plants um, in their new home. Oh, this moth, just throw it anywhere in New Zealand on Whorehound and it will do well. Um, Dave indicated that about 200 larvae would make a release, a viable release. We just want to be on the safe side here and because we can and we've got enough, uh, we've got about 300 larvae in here. We just want to make sure that they will establish. The host range tests have shown that these species are very specific to whorehound. It was important to test and make sure that those moths that we bring here now will not uh, change their diet suddenly and move on to these other plants, to these uh, herbs that we value. So we are, we are confident that they will remain with high fidelity to whorehound. They are doing fairly well on quite a lot drier and more miserable looking plants in Australia, they will love it here.